Welcome back to Gander. In my first video, my first trip to Gander, I went during the spring harvest, a week before to be exact. This time, I came right in the middle of the autumn harvest. As you can see, the streets of this small village are crammed with buyers and sellers looking to get the fresh batch of Tier Kuan Yin. The sidewalks were lined with people buying, tasting, and even withering tea. I was honestly a little shy to be holding a camera, so please excuse the sloppy angles. I wanted to stop and try all these teas, but I was looking for my friend's house. He was expecting me and I was already 20 minutes late. When I got there, they had already picked that afternoon's tea and had begun the withering process. The tea leaves are spread out evenly to dry in what is luckily a sunny day. Hello. This is a turning technique that they not only use to flip the leaves, but as you'll see, to gather them on into a bag to bring them to the next step. The rolling process for Tia Kuan Yin is extremely complex and needs to be monitored carefully. This particular shot is actually from my Long Juan trip, but I forgot to film this in Gandu. The repetition of rolling and then resting will be repeated throughout the night and into the next morning not longer. <laughs> the 
The teas are fermented in an air-conditioned room. These particular teas, like most Taekwanyin produced, falls under the category of Jung Wei. This means that they were fermented until the morning after they were picked. Other teas are fermented until the next afternoon or even the following day. One of my favorite steps that I find doesn't get talked about often. After the leaves go through the kill green step, as you saw before, they are put in this bag and the edges are beaten off. The edges that come off are those that died during the fermenting process. This gives Tick One Year the signature smell. ตรงนั้นก็หอกหอกหอกหอกหอกหอกหอกหอกหอกหอกหอกหอกหอกหอกหอกหอกหอกหอกหอกหอกหอกหอกหอกหอกหอกหอกหอกหอกหอกหอก